Have your plans for your summer holidays also been jeopardized? Do you wonder what you can do with your kids during your staycation? How you can make the best out of this situation? I have 10 creativity and fun sparking activities you and your kids will love. Hi everyone. Before I go into this video today, I wanted to shout out a big thank you because I received some really, really lovely comments on my recent videos and they have really moved me and they encouraged me to keep doing this. Um, and they have made me think that I hesitate so often to write a comment underneath another creator's video because I think they don't make a difference. But that's in fact not true. They really make a difference. They make a difference between continuing doing this, continuing creating videos and giving up. So thank you very, very much. As for many of you, our summer holiday plans have been cancelled. We could have tried to find something else within our country, but being a filmmaker with a shooting ahead and a lot of responsibility that comes with that, we didn't want to take the risk. It turns out that this year's approach to our summer holiday has not just been much easier for everyone. It's also been one of the most relaxing experiences because it has taken out the self-inflicted pressure to get as much as possible done or visited. There was no packing for a family of four, not too much planning ahead. And of course, the weather doesn't really matter because we're flexible and can do things on one day or the other day. It does not really matter that much. There was no feeling of FOMO because we know what we can't get done during that period of our summer holiday, we can still do at the later weekend. I'm actually surprised about the variety of activities that we discovered. But what this holiday has also done, it has brought us as a family much closer together because we were able to spend all this quality time together. Based on this experience, I thought it could be helpful for you if I share a collection of ideas that are family friendly, activate creativity in kids and grown ups, and are for the most part very physical distance compatible. All we did was renting a car for the period of our staycation because we don't own a car, and we looked for things to explore that are within a one hour driving distance from where we live. I'm aware that. The intensity of the impact and therefore the restrictions might be very different depending on where you are and when you're watching this video. So some of these suggestions might not be applicable or available. So please don't be offended if this is the case for you. I guess we all try to make the best out of this situation. And I just hope that what I'm offering here sparks some inspiration for your own staycation and what you could do there. Walking with alpacas or llamas. There are a lot of these walks available these days because people all over the globe have fallen in love with these gentle, sensitive, beautiful animals. I mean, look at them. It's a very beautiful experience for children and grown-ups alike. When you allow yourself to connect with these sensitive animals, you're in for an unforgettable treat. Open-air museums, like for example a prehistory museum, you and your children can learn about how the ancestors used to live. Some even offer specific courses like baking bread as it was done thousands of years ago. When these museums are in smaller towns, they're usually not very frequented at the moment, considering they're open, of course. Great for rainy days are game days. Contrary to those days when we had to juggle homeschooling and home office, we can really go through game after game and instead of feeling any pressure, we have fun. 
probably some of the best days during staycation. Visit a historic place like a Baroque or a medieval castle or any other historic site that allows for enough distance. This is great as it can cover multiple interests like history, architecture, art and gardening. The one you see in the video is also the home to a lot of animals like sheep, goats, donkeys, my favorites, alpacas, llamas and even camels. And we also got to see loads of ground squirrels, which are a native version of mercats, but smaller. Build a tippy. This is great fun and doesn't cost anything. All you need is a place where you can find enough branches and start building. It seems to be a popular activity because we found plenty of these during our excursions to the forest. Speaking of the forest, explore it. Try to identify trees and other plants. There are some really good apps that can help you with that. Collect leaves and branches, maybe acorns and pine cones. You can harvest blackberries with the prospect of a yummy blackberry and apple crumble in the evening, maybe. Maybe you want to take a note or a sketchbook and crayons with you to record your findings. And don't forget some canvas bags and empty and clean jars to transport your findings. These things are really great for creative crafting with the materials you found out in nature. There are so many things that you can do with all these leaves and flowers and acorns that you're finding out there. And this is also a really great activity for rainy days. Visit an observatory or go to a viewing platform on a clear night to watch the stars. In the second case, consider to borrow a simple telescope to get a closer look. If that isn't possible, the beautiful night sky is worth the attention even with the free eye. There are some great apps that can help you to find the star constellations on the night sky. I'll leave some suggestions below. If you're watching this video close to its release date, in the next few days you might even be lucky to see some shooting stars. Don't forget to make a wish. Okay, sorry for the terrible dancing. This is meant symbolic. I didn't want to film my own kids because I don't want to have them in the videos. But Kids Disco is so much fun. You just turn on the music and dance and it's also perfect for rainy days. Open air family theatres. Of course, this is particularly close to my heart to expose my children to some culture, but also to support my colleagues who have been hit very hard by Corona. A lot of cultural institutions are fighting to survive and the best way to help is by buying tickets. However, I only go to open air performances for the time being where there is enough room that ensures that the minimum distance to protect each other is provided. All in all, this has been one of the most beautiful holidays with the kids together. Much less hassle. And we learned how much there is to discover around us. And of course, all this quality time that we had together as a family was beautiful and really brought us together much closer. 2020 is a challenge, but we made the best out of our summer holiday and I'm sure that we will remember it very fondly. Let me and everyone who's watching this video know what you have been doing during your staycation. I'm sure I can draw some inspiration for my future staycations myself. And if you like the ideas that I have offered in this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because next week there will be a second part of this video coming along your way with even more ideas for your staycation. And in the meanwhile, stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative and take care. Bye bye.